Hey guys, and welcome back to the online learning space. Today we are going to look at using Adobe Spark. Now we can use Adobe Spark to create professional looking images and videos in a matter of minutes. And these images and videos can be used in your projects and your productions. And the cool thing is you don't need any special applications to run and it can all be saved online or you can download it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this website, spark.adobe.com. You need to sign up and it's for free. And once you sign in, then you can log into the site and access all the other um, pages. So once you've signed into your Adobe Spark account, all of your projects that you are going to do are all saved to the cloud and they are all accessible here and you can edit them and you can you know, manipulate them or download them if you really wanted to. So to get started, let's click on the yellow circle with the plus symbol. And this will give us these three options. If you want to create a post, which will include things like you know graphics, memes, inspirational quotes, things like that, you click over here. If you want a page, for example, like a web story or a portfolio, photo journals, you'd click page. If you want to create an animated video, you click over here. We're going to create a new post today. So the first thing that we need to do when creating new posts is we need to write something. So I'm just going to grab a quote and I'm going to use that quote. Now we can have different graphic sizes. If you want to post this on Instagram, we've already got the size for Instagram, Facebook, etc. So I'm going to keep it as Instagram because it's square. So once you put your text on your page, the next screen of Adobe Spark will open up. And in here you can pick current themes. So if you like any of these, then you can keep them or you can you know, keep moving around until you find something that's good. If you wanted to change your size of your post, for example, we want Instagram, but if you wanted to change it to, let's say, a YouTube thumbnail or a standard banner, we can all find that here in Resize. But if you're happy with your size, then you can just leave it as it is. Once you get into here, we can change the color palette and this will enable us to change the colors in your post. So once you're happy with your colors, you can then move to the photo section inside of Adobe Spark. In this section, you can change the filters that appear on the background image inside of Adobe Spark. So you can choose a filter that you really like to make the, you know, the text stand out or the picture stand out. If you want to upload your own photo, you can do this by clicking the Upload Photo button. Or you could use the built-in features of Adobe Spark to find the pictures that you would like to use instead. So we're going to have a look at the last section over here, which is text. Now, with text, it's pretty cool because we can add new text just by clicking anywhere on our post. And then we can write whatever we wanted to say and that will appear up in our post using the same styles as the text originally. Now, when you click on the text, on the right hand side, you see some style suggestions. And if you work your way through this circle, you can see the different styles that Adobe Spark can automatically create your text in. You can also change things like shapes and put shapes behind your text. You know, if you wanted to add a circle, a diamond, a square, a rectangle, they will all be found in shapes. You can also do things like adding banners and social icons, you know, to your posts. Colors is also important if you wanted to change the color of your text. You can use the suggested colors that Adobe Spark automatically give you. Fonts is another thing you can look at. There are automatically pre-built fonts inside of Adobe Spark that create dramatic and effective use of text. You can look at the spacing in between the characters which will create some unique effects and you can also look at things like alignment. We can also enlarge the text by clicking and dragging. Now the good thing is if you want to center either the text or the picture you can drag them around and they kind of snap to these points, these uh, dotted uh, yellow lines. So now that you know you're actually in the center. Anyways, the good thing about Adobe Spark is that it saves automatically. So while I'm speaking, it's already saved. If you want to go and share this and download this, you click the share button 
and then you can either you know create a link and share it online or you can download the file and then use it later on so anyways guys thanks for watching see you next time